Hi friends, after a very long time, I got a new addition to my wonderful hydroponic collection. This is lead pot air, specifically LPH air and this is from the company called lead pot. I already have four lead pot hydroponic systems, two lead pot max, one lead pot 12 pot and one lead pot mini. Currently I am growing a chocolate peppers in lead pot max a tomato and fire and ice peppers in another lead pot max and tiny tim tomato plants i recently started in a lead pot 12 pod and petunias in a lead pot mini even this basic lead pot mini with just 10 voltage lines do really wonders i have grown so many things and my results are always exceeding so all these lead pot systems are doing really good and I am always impressed with these lead pot systems. With that I got this new lead pot air. Let's see what it comes with, what are all the accessories included and what are all the specs it came with and eventually how is it going to perform. Let's get into it. First things first, a quick manual. Let's get into it soon. Some stickers and here comes the hydroponic system looks very light and compact oh there are actually more stickers very well packaged don't throw this thick foam material this is very useful to make uh, cloning collars. I have a separate video about how to make the cloning collars. So please take a look if you are interested. I have the link in the description below. Here is the light panel. And here is a grow deck. It supports 10 plants. Looks like they are pretty decently placed. We will figure that out as I am experimenting with various plants. But uh, I can see about one inch of space between the pod, pod holes. So that looks pretty decent. The pod baskets and the dome covers to trap the humid and help the germination. Then the hole covers also called as plant spacers. These are very important to cover the unused holes. So I am very impressed with the lead pot that uh, they included a couple of hole covers. It's hard to find the compatible uh, hole covers. So I really appreciate any company that adds some hole covers and uh, lead pot did that good job. Then the sponges also known as grow medium. Then the nutrition. This is AB nutrition. I'm not a big fan of AB nutrition. I always go with uh, maxi grow or uh, aerogate nutrients. But if the system comes with these AB nutrients, I'm happy to use them until I ran out of this AB nutrition. Then I will switch to Aerogoda nutrients or Maxi Grow because they are just ready to use. And they are pretty easy and straightforward and works very well for almost all the plants I have grown so far. Then some support strings. These are useful for some plant varieties. Then the light pole. I will soon measure the exact uh, height we can adjust but uh, this looks very nice. There are multiple uh, levels that we can adjust this light pole. Nice design. Lot of systems comes with a telescopic rod. I noticed that the Telescopic light rod is getting loose on some of the hydroponic systems and the lights are going down automatically with the uh, uh, weight of the lights. So I actually like this kind of setup. Definitely very well designed. And finally the adapter. Now coming to the bowl. It's pretty clean. I see some cuttings. I'm not a fan of these cuttings. I want the bowl to be pretty clean. But compared to all the other lead pot systems, I really love this design. It is almost clean. And I also like this pump setup. We can just snap in and snap off. I really like this kind of setup. I don't need to use any screwdriver or I don't need to spend time unscrewing any screws. There are no screws here. 
so it's just a snap in and snap out i really love this kind of setup and uh, there is a see-through window let's see how much uh, water we can pour the overall bowl capacity is four liters but we can fill up to three and a half liters water that's a pretty good size and uh, it is pretty wide it is going to be very useful to grow smaller plants and uh, when i'm using uh, all the holes i think this kind of uh, bowl dimension works very well i think that's pretty much it comes with all the required accessories and it also comes with the uh, hole covers so i really love all the accessories it came up with and i really love this design i'm very impressed even though i like lead pot systems i don't like their bowl designs at all there are so many unnecessary cuttings in all the other models but this one came with very nice and uh, almost a clean design i wish they can get rid of these two cuttings as well but uh, at least it's not bad i can use a nice toothbrush or some cleaning brush and i can easily clean the bowl every time when i want to clean it i'm so obsessed with uh, clean gardens i clean the gardens every couple of uh, weeks so i really want the bowl to be very plain and uh, simple that i can just uh, scrub and uh, rinse thoroughly see there are just some holes this is totally unnecessary design i wish uh, lead pot and all the hydroponic system manufacturer understands the importance of the clean and a simple bowl and uh, get rid of all these unnecessary cuttings in the bowl see this one also doesn't need to have this kind of uh, uh, cuttings and designs this is totally useless i don't know what is the purpose of this hole here same thing i wish uh, they can get rid of this eventually i'm sure let pot is very good in uh, listening to the feedback so i'm sure they will listen to the feedback and uh, get rid of these cuttings and come up with a nice bowl design in the future but uh, that's fine i can live with it for now one thing i am not super impressed with the uh, lead pot systems is the power of the pump even though the pump works decent it is not powerful enough to move the water very well we want constantly moving water we don't want the stagnant water in the bowl it's better to have a very powerful pump inside the hydroponic systems let's see how effective this pump is going to work out i'm going to fill some water and connect this pump to the power and uh, we can test it before i put the water and uh, give the pump a test i'm going to put the light pole and uh, measure the height adjustment the lowest we can go on this model is uh, six inches and from here we can adjust up to 13 inches which is not bad i wish it can go a little higher i think uh, one and a half feet is the ideal we can grow a lot of things but uh, one feet is also not bad we can grow a lot of plants here including the cherry tomatoes like a tiny dims work very well and stay under uh, one foot so one foot is good but i wish it can be at least one and a half feet and uh, before we jump on to testing this pump let me call out the specs one time it comes with a uh, 24 voltage lines and uh, three and a half liters bowl capacity it supports uh, 10 pounds and uh, we can adjust the light height from six inches to 13 inches those are the main specs anyway we will see how effective those specs are as we experiment with this garden now it's time to give this pump a test all right i connected the pump and i'm turning it on this light panel comes with a cup four buttons the first one is power and the second two are the grow modes vegetable and uh, fruits and finally the pump and the same button is also used for app connectivity basically it supports wi-fi that is one of the important things about this garden i want to talk so this system is a smart system we can connect the system into the lead pot app and we can control the system from the app which is pretty useful in a couple of cases but uh, we will talk about all those cases pretty soon for now let's get into pump testing here we go it's not bad it is pumping the water pretty well i think uh, this is good enough to circulate the water and uh, keep the nutrients dissolving and moving in the water that's really good i think it is working pretty decent 
I'm happy with this kind of power. Now let me show you some other features that we can manage from the app. I already have a LedPod app installed. I have a couple of LedPod systems already and I connected all of them. Now here comes the LedPod Air. I already connected it. Once you open the LedPod app and once you pick the system, LedPod Air, there are a couple of things we can do here. A lot of things that you can do here. You can also do it directly on the system. So let me show you what is important and what exactly you can do from this app. The first thing I like is controlling the LED brightness. It is here. So you can change it from low to high and high to low. Normally I keep it at a high brightness, but during the germination, I prefer to turn off the lights because germination doesn't need any lights. So I prefer to turn off the lights. So if there is an option to turn off the lights, I will go with it. But here I don't see an option to turn off the lights. So I will go with low. But uh, once I see the seedlings, I will change it to high. So that's one very good feature we can control from the app. And the other thing is uh, you can turn off the alarms when the water level goes down. It will give an alarm that is sometimes annoying, sometimes okay, especially if you have a, a smaller kids, babies or any pets that is scared of sudden sounds, you can turn the alarms off. I never use any alarms. I always keep the alarms off. And... Uh, the next thing is pump. We never need to turn off the pump, but uh, if you really want to test the pump, whether it is working or not, or how better it is working, you can always test it using this feature. Just uh, turn it off and uh, turn it on. So you should immediately see the pump start and uh, running. That's one good feature. The another very important feature I always prefer in the app is controlling the light schedule. So here you can see the schedule is 7 to 23, which is basically 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. You can adjust the schedule however you want. One good thing I like with this app compared to a couple of other apps is you can schedule what time you want to start and what time you want to end. This is very simple and straightforward. I see some apps related to hydroponic systems where you can only control the start time and you cannot adjust the schedule. But here LedPod gives full flexibility. You can keep it 24 hours on, you can keep 24 hours off, you can keep a couple of hours on. So it's up to you totally. So you can adjust the start time, let's say 6 a.m. and the end time, which can be, let's say 10 p.m. So this is the standard schedule I prefer most of the times. Either I will go with a 7 to 10 or 7 to 11 or 6 to 10 or 6 to 11. And a couple of other things you can adjust are the days planted. You don't need to adjust it, but in case you have to reset the garden in between or for any reason, if you lose it, you can always come back and adjust here. Something like this. And you can also switch the light modes from veggie mode to fruit mode. As I mentioned in a couple of my previous videos, I always go with the veggie mode. I always want to give all three light combinations. I saw a little bit of poor performance when I switched to fruits. I know some of you tried a fruit mode and it's working for you, but um, uh, it's totally, you can figure it out whether you want the fruit mode or not. For me, practically, fruit mode is a useless mode. I tried uh, switching to fruit mode when I was growing watermelons and the plant almost reached to dead. I don't see any green leaves afterwards and the fruit development got stunted. So I immediately switch it back to veggie mode. I always want to give uh, all three color combinations. So blue light is important for photosynthesis, photosynthesis etc. So I always prefer to go with the veggie mode. So I never change it, but if you want, you can change it. That's pretty much all the important features we need from the app. And uh, this app gives lots of easy, straightforward customization. And I love it. That's pretty much all about this hydroponic system. As I said earlier, the specs, designs, is good to have but that is not everything i really care about the performance of the system so i'm going to start experimenting with the system and keep you posted with its performance from each and every experiment i run in this garden so please subscribe to the channel and the notifications so that you can see all the updates as soon as i post them thanks for watching and happy hydroponics gardening